Uh, first of all, swept off my feet. He says, no woman wakes up saying, God, I hope I don't get swept off my feet today. Swept off my feet is past tense. Present would be sweep off my feet. And this phrase, this idiom, it means to make someone fall in love very deeply. Usually we say a man sweeps a woman off her feet. Sweep, of course, comes from like you have a broom, you're clean, cleaning the floor, and you sweep the floor. But it has the idea that also of a man knocking a woman off her feet. So you can imagine, she's so in love, she falls down, right? She falls off her feet. She falls down, and the man catches her, right? This is the image that you want to imagine for this phrase. The woman sees the man, She's so in love, she falls down and the man catches her. He sweeps her off her feet, right? He picks her up, he takes her off her feet. So this phrase means uh, a man makes a woman fall deeply in love, very quickly, very suddenly, very strongly. He makes her fall in love. So he's saying, no woman wakes up saying, she, in, in the morning, I hope I don't, negative, I hope I don't get swept off my feet. Which means every woman does want to be swept off her feet, according to this character. He thinks every woman loves romance. If she might say she does not, but really she wants love. That's the meaning of that sentence. All right, and then the next uh, little um, line, he says something like, um, now, she might say, this is a really bad time for me, or something like, I just need some space. We've had this before. I need space. If you say this in a relationship, if you're talking about dating, I need space means I need time alone. I don't want to be with you, right? I don't want to be with a boyfriend. I don't want to be with a girlfriend. I need time alone. I need to be away from other people. I need space. I need space. And in the next line, uh, he said, she might say, I'm really into my career right now. These are excuses a woman might use. I'm really into my career. To be into something, really into something, means you're really interested in it, or you're really focused on it, or you're really concentrating on it. So I'm really into my career right now means I'm really focused on my job right now. And these are all examples of excuses that a woman might use. If you want to ask a woman on a date, you want to date her, you say, I like you, and she uses these excuses. I need some space, I'm into my career, it's a bad time for me. These are excuses that women use when they don't want to date a man. All right, so then we go on, he says, 60% 60, 60 of all human communication is nonverbal. Nonverbal, of course, means not verbal. And verbal means uh, speech, right? Speaking. So nonverbal means without speaking. 60% of all human com communication is nonverbal. It means you communicate with your body, body language. How what your face and your body show 60% of the information. 30% is your tone. Tone means intonation. It means how you say something, not the words, but the way you say it. And then he says, so that means that 90% of what you're saying ain't coming out of your mouth. Ain't is casual English. It's don't use it for writing. But in speech, it's okay. Ain't means uh, am not or are not or is not. You can use it for all of those. Ain't, am not. In this case, it means uh, is not. Ain't coming out of your mouth. Is not coming out of your mouth. All right, and then next we see the, uh, the word wanna. Of course she's going to lie to you. She's a nice person. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Wanna is kind of casual speech. It means want to. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. Hurt your feelings means to hurt someone's feelings means to make them feel sad, 
make them feel upset, make them feel hurt. Right? So if a nice woman, if she, you ask her, oh, I like you, go on a date. Well, she's nice. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. She doesn't want you to feel sad. So she lies. She says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy, or I have a boyfriend, or something like that. Um, so you don't feel so bad. She's trying to be nice. That's why she's lying. That's what Hitch is saying. Hitch is the name of the character in this uh, beginning scene of the movie. Okay, and he says, uh, luckily, the fact is, just like the rest of us, even a beautiful woman doesn't know what she wants until she sees it. And that's where I come in. That's where I come in means, it's a, it's a common phrase, a common idiom. It means, that's where I start, or that's where my job begins, or that's what I'm going to help you with. That's where I come in. It means that's when I should come in and start helping, right? She doesn't know you yet. Um, she doesn't know what she wants. So he's going to help her <clears throat> figure out what she wants. He's going to come in and help the woman understand and realize what she wants. That's where he comes in. That's where he will start doing his work. He says, my job is to open her eyes, to open someone's eyes means to make them understand, right? I will, make, I will open your eyes. It means I will make you understand. I will help you understand. I will help you realize the truth. I will help you see the truth. That's what open your eyes, open their eyes, open her eyes means. Okay, then you hear her. There's a woman in the, in the, in the beginning scene. She says, Toby, oh my God, is, that what you're look is this what you're looking for? It's her dog. Toby's the name of her dog. She loses her dog, and the guy in the scene helps her get the dog, and then she wants to have a date with the guy. So in the beginning scene, uh, Hitch, Will Smith's character, helps guys, kind of uh, geeky guys, guys that are not cool, he helps them get a date with women they really like. And maybe the guys, usually they can't do it. They're too shy. They're too, they're not cool enough. They're not confident. So he helps them. He's a date doctor. He helps them get dates. And in this beginning scene, the first scene of the movie, it shows him helping a few guys uh, get a date with girls they like. And he's giving this speech at the same time. So you should rent the movie. You can really understand more what's happening. And finally, at the end, he says, Basic principles, no matter what, means any situation. No matter when, means any time. No matter who, means any person. Any man has a chance to sweep any woman off her feet. Okay, here we have sweep off her feet. It means any man can make any woman fall in love with him. So any woman can love any man. That's what that line means. Any man has a chance to sweep any woman off her feet, to make any woman love him. And then he, then he has a joke at the last line. Just needs the right broom. He just needs the right broom. Broom, of course, we use that to sweep. This is a joke. He's, he's talking about two different meanings, right? Sweep can mean to you know, clean a floor which you use a broom, or, in, or sweep also can mean sweep off her feet, romantic. So he means just needs the right broom. That means he just needs the right technique. He needs the right method to get the woman. Okay, that's what that means. And it's, but it's kind of a joke, joking about the two meanings of sweep. So just needs the right broom means he just needs the right technique. All right, so that is the... Uh, end of the first scene. Again, this is uh, from the movie Hitch, starring Will Smith. It's a romantic comedy. Uh, if you want to understand it better, it's good to see it, so I suggest renting it at least one time. 